This is my carnivorous plant setup. I'm um, start over here. I have my, it's just sphagnum moss. I'm getting some seeds soon to put in it. Uh, here are my, this is pretty much my Venus flytrap tray. So I have uh, the reds, and I fed them all a few days ago. And these are the typicals. So I, since I fed them, they're all pretty much closed. Um, okay, those are all my Venus flytraps. And here's my sun terrarium. It's really small. I'm going to upgrade and get a bigger one soon with more species. But pretty much here is Drosera adelaide. And I think there's like two mature plants up against each other. And there's, I don't know if you can see it, but right in the middle there's a little baby. And he grew from a re root that I didn't even mean to. I didn't really mean for it to grow plant, but it just did. Uh, in the back, there's Drosera spatulata. On the left here is Drosera nidiformis. And the leaves are curling over the fruit flies that I fed them. And Drosera capensis giant right here. Okay. Um, close that. And I have... Uh, down here... I have my Drosera indica germination set up. It's usually up there, but I was trying to clear out some space earlier. Uh, you can see there's seeds on the white sand. And then I also have long fire roots sphagnum with uh, seeds on it too to see which one does better. I think the sand's going to do better, but I'm not really positive. Here's another germination setup for Drosera alicae. Okay, here is uh, my one butterwort so far. Uh, Pinguicula morensis, Mexican butterwort. And I just took a leaf pulling. And he's doing good. And then I have leaf cuttings right here. I think it's... This is just an itiformis on top. It's kind of over my thumb. Uh, and then you can see I have... Drosera adelaide on the left, and on the right I have a really small cutting of Drosera capensis giant, which is in the back. Okay, and now I'll show you my sphagnum germination. This is like an arrow garden. I got it for my birthday a few years ago, and I put sphagnum moss in with a ton of water. I gotta water it more. I usually flood it every few days, and then just let it go down more. It's doing really good. Okay, and that's it. Um, yeah. And I have sphagnum moss in the back. I'm hoping to make another mini bog out of that green pot. It's my long fiber sphagnum. And for lighting, I have two T12 fixtures. They each hold two bulbs. And each, there's four, so there's full, four bulbs in total. And each bulb uh, has 3,050 lumens in total, so it's like 12,000 lumens, so it's working really good so far. I think I might get another one because the sundews aren't looking as red as usual. I don't know. It might help. Okay.